So, so this morning, our four-year-old Maverick went outside to jump on the trampoline, and we looked out the window, and it looked like he and the dog and the pig were just hanging out in the field. But then my wife looked again, and she saw the pig start to attack our four-year-old. So we ran down there, and she had him by the coat, and she had bitten onto him and was dragged, trying to drag him. And so anyway, that was the end of her. And she was supposed to have piglets about a week and a half ago, but that never happened. Maverick was fine. Maverick was fine. Um, she only got him by the coat. She didn't grab onto his skin at all. But here's what we have now. So that was 8 o'clock this morning. It's about 1 in the afternoon. Now we have two hams. This is a bone-in ham. This is a boned ham. These are the Boston butts, or the front shoulders. These are the two loins, the two tenderloins. This is the neck meat. These are the two racks of ribs I still have to break down. This is pork belly on one side, pork belly on the other side, so we're going to cure that into bacon. And we have all this rendering fat as well. So it took, you know, a morning to get this ready to go, but now we have plenty of meat and uh, one less pig. Hey Mav, what did any of the pig do to you yesterday? Um, she attacked me and tried to bite me. Did she bite you though? She bit my coat. Was that enough for me to shoot her dead? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no. Actually, yes. <laughs> so we have eight bags of pork belly and um, bacon ends here. It's not bacon yet. But these are the ingredients for bacon. This is how to make bacon. The number one ingredient that you need is salt coarse salt. That's what actually makes the bacon. So let's put a bunch of salt because we've got a bunch of pork here to cook or to, to uh, cure. The salt sucks the moisture out of the pork and it cures the meat and it preserves it. Now this is not a nitrate salt because this is going to be freezer bacon and that's fine. Freezer bacon lasts approximately six months they say. Probably longer in reality, but it's recommended six months. But since um, we eat our bacon pretty fast, this Morton salt instead of nitrate salt is just fine. Now the rest of these ingredients are just for flavor. But it'll be bacon with or without that. So the sugar adds some sweetness. The molasses is in the sugar for brown sugar. Stop that. Stop that. For a richness. Some smoked paprika, quite a bit. We have many pounds of bacon here, so we have to, you know, put quite a bit in there. Let's put, this is a pork rub. A pork rub adds a tang and a deeper smoky flavor. Let's do a bunch of that in there. And as you can see, I'm not measuring. And the reason I'm not is because it just doesn't matter. <laughs> now, let's put some garlic. Now let's do some dried chopped onion. Yeah, sure, why not? Now, the only part of this recipe that's expensive is syrup. the genuine maple syrup. Maple syrup takes a lot of work to make and it's expensive to buy. So this one bottle is about $14. Now we'll give it, obviously, a maple-y flavor. Now I'm gonna mix this and then put it in these bags and then put it in the fridge for seven days. Every day I'm going to turn the bag over and after seven days this bacon will be cured. And after that I'm going to put it in the smoker and smoke it and finish the curing process. And then we'll have bacon. Then we'll eat it. 
Okay, each one of these bags has about two cups of the mixture that I made. Now, when I seal these bags up, I'm gonna seal them with a lot of air in them at first so that I can mix the curing rub all around the pork belly. So, as you can see, it already looks like bacon, sort of. But once it's cured, it'll be much tighter, have a lot of the moisture out of it, and then it'll change color to a much darker, richer color, and it'll be much more firm to the touch. So right now, it's just pork belly and pork ends, but in a little while, in a week, it will be bacon.